If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the brand new Saturday Legends, as you guys do know. Now, guys, saying that same phrase over and over again for the last 30 plus weeks, I don't even know, probably close to 40. You know, Legends Progressively, obviously get more dragged as they go on throughout the year now it's not to say that they're not good because actually the ones that are coming out recently have actually been pretty good because we are towards the end of the year so we're going to be getting the best of the best when it comes to legend stats more than likely but you know it's not as fun as it was back in august when we got the new lawrence taylor or one of those new cards but we still got to go on and try to enjoy it as much as we can hopefully today's legend stats are really good we can only hope for the most part so the legends that we do have for today i believe i saw a Larry Allen, which is actually super awesome because Larry Allen is going to be probably the best right guard in Madden, or at least up there for the best right guard in Madden. And we have uh, limited time Marvin Harrison. I don't know who the other one was. Ray Guy, I believe, which is the punter. Hey, guys. As you guys know, I forgot to open up my fan appreciation pack yesterday. So, luckily, we're going to have them for this video. Maybe we could pull one of the new Ultimate Legends on there, which would be super cool. And then once we're done opening these packs, Guys, I am kind of broke, so I can only open up a few, but I actually think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go quick sell Patrick Mahomes real quick to get the coin stack up a little bit, because obviously I've had him for quite a while. Didn't want to do this to Mahomes, but it's worth it for the video. Quick sell, got 500,000 coins. I'm going to go open up some of these fan appreciations first, and when we're done, we will go check out the store and see what kind of, you know, well, the market and see what kind of stuff is up and what things are going for. But guys, before we get to today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, make sure, comment down below what you guys have pulled. Now guys, real quick, just so you guys do know, if you want to open up a, 10, a, a fan appreciation bundle, this pretty much cost, I believe for 10, about like 60 bucks, probably 30 bucks for 10. But in comparison, guys, you can probably pick up about 500k worth of coins off my sponsor for about $17. So you can honestly get, you can get five of these for a lot cheaper than here. So then you guys know real quick. So if you guys need coins to buy some of these packs, it is much cheaper to buy coins and buy the packs than it is to actually spend real currency. You head over to MMOEXP, cheapest coins on the internet, and use code Poodle, guys. So then you guys know, so you guys don't waste valuable money. I really don't think you should be wasting money at this point in the year. It should all be coins at this point. But first, we get a full ultimate freeze, whatever this card's called, zero chill card. Nope. Oh, we got a serious redux. Give us Lamar, 95 Cordell Stewart. So back to back. Zero chill cards. I like how I didn't pull these cards when it was the actual promo. A veteran card right here. We got Dominique Rogers Cromarty, 86. Okay, a flashback. Wow. And we get a theme builder, 93, Michael Badgley. Guys, this is probably going to be, like I've been saying, this is one of the last chances I'm probably going to have to pull a golden ticket this year. Because I think once golden tickets are like done, or if they're already done, the, the odds are already kind of low. Or they've lowered since the initial drop. 97 Harrison Smith. So a full draft here right there. That honestly isn't horrible. 84 Thomas Morstead. We get a, let's see, Marquise, Marquez Valdez Scant, uh, Scantling, a Mutt Hero card, and we get a Ultimate Legend, 89 Willie Lanier. He's a great guys, but I honestly think Fan Appreciation should be, will be the only chance I have at a golden ticket for Madden 20, so I don't know how long they're going to refresh this, but every week I open these packs could be my last, so hopefully we pull some 90 Alshon Jeffrey, a Harvest card right here, we get a low 82 Royce Freeman, a Team of the Week card here, 89, ooh, 89 Eric Rowe, ooh, a big theme builder. 95 David Bakhtiari, and we get basically Miles Garrett. So we're down to the last two packs here. What are the odds on these things? I'm almost positive the odds of me pulling a 98 plus are super high. Yeah, 40, 14% is pretty high as it is. And then it's 96 plus is 51. Like, I really should be pulling a golden ticket at some point. I don't understand how I haven't. Or something, just something relevant. The chance of me pulling good cards are super high, and I pull that. Ooh, NFL 100 player. 95 Joe Montana. Okay, that's solid. We get a draft here. 98 Andrew Thomas. All right, and in Team of the Week, 88 Michael Bennett. It, like, it doesn't look bad, but we all know that goes. I still probably lost coins in that pack. Final pack. Guys, best chance to pull Ultimate Legend. Anything will probably this last pack. I don't really see myself pulling anything else. We get a draft hero card, and we get 95 Caesar Ruiz or Ruiz. Oof. And a theme builder card. Should be a low one. 90 Ty Long. Mud Heroes, Legend, wow, not Ashton Davis, not one Ultimate Legend, we have a 50% chance to pull something above a 96, and this is what we get, it's crazy, 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 there's nothing else for me to pull, I'm not going to be stupid and go open up 
No, I'm not even gonna waste coins. No point. Let's go over to the block, see these new cards. I'm not even gonna waste coins. I'm gonna get a gold because I don't want to pull anything. I'm not gonna waste coins on a stupid Ultimate Legend bundle because Ultimate Legend packs suck. Those needs to be. I think after fan appreciation, those should come down in price. At least that's what they said they, that happened last year. We can only hope though, because that price is absolutely ridiculous. We paid for Ultimate Legend packs that aren't even close, close to the value of fan appreciation. While it's also half less than half the price. It's just kind of ridiculous at this point. Okay, so let's see who we're looking out for again. Let's see what we got. Okay, Ray Guy is up. So we got the punter right here. 99 overall Ray Guy for the Raiders. 77 speed, 81 XL, 99 kick power, 96 kick accuracy, 92 awareness. And then obviously the throw power is short. Throw on the run. Nothing too significant there. So compare him to our current punter. We have, you know what's funny? I think actually at punter we have Treyway right now. Because I don't punt. But if I ever needed a punter, I do have some pretty decent ones lined up right here. But this punter obviously blows everyone away that 99 kick power guys that probably means you can probably boot that thing from like almost anywhere on the field to the opposite side like anywhere you are you can probably reset the field position so it's actually pretty useful i think that's actually a, that's a, probably a good buy to be honest and then kick accuracy is pretty important as well acceleration speed not too important but it is there but yeah kick power 99 kick power is different you could probably like boot it from like the 20 to like the opposite side of the field and easily reset field position which is good in case you have an opponent who's very good offensively or or you're very good defensively, so you just gotta boot it down there and get it, give yourself some uh, field space to really work with. Now, now much more to talk about with the punter. He was the only punter in the Hall of Fame. He was selected to the Pro Bowl seven times and won three Super Bowls in 14 seasons. Yeah, pretty solid resume right there. Now let's refresh this. You can go find some of the new ones. Who do we got here? I don't believe I see anyone here. So we got Marvin Harrison, and I believe who else did we have? We have Marvin Harrison, wide receiver. Let's go check that out. And then we have, I believe it was Larry Allen. So wide receiver, I do not see Marvin Harrison just yet. Let's check out Larry Allen. He's more than likely up. Yep, 99 limit time. Whoa, Larry Allen's LTT? I thought it was Marvin Harrison. All right, so Larry Allen looks super solid already. 99 strength, amazing. 94 awareness is good. 95 pass block, 97 pass block power, 95 pass block. That's kind of low to be honest. But And, and obviously, he's the kind of guy that you probably wouldn't want to put zone run on. But 99 run block, 99 run block power, 96 run block finesse. So zone run and everything should get his zone his run blocking up a bit. And then with uh, John Madden passing, his pass block should come up a little bit. Now, in my opinion, I'd rather put like pass blocking cams on him. But then it's about your other linemen too. Like, what do they have? Let's compare him. Like, so I, I sold my right guard. Oh, no, I didn't. I have Zach Martin still. Compared to Zach Martin, pass blocking is pretty similar. Better, but similar. And he blows him away in run blocking. Blows him away in strength. Larry Allen's a phenomenal right guard. You really just can't go wrong with him and we kind of knew that. I mean, obviously, uh, Larry Allen. Carver's going to be amazing. It is LTD, though, so he's going to be really, really expensive. You know what's funny? If you guys see his mouthpiece on the screen right there, that little cheap blue mouthpiece, it gives me some vibes back to, like, football season. Those are the mouthpieces that you always get supplied for free at football season. I used to hate those things. And how many of you guys actually played football, like, after high school? But those little things, you just, like, you, have to, you, just, like, you just have to cut them because they scratch at the back of your mouth. They're all nasty. But I guess when you play, that's what he played with. That's pretty impressive, actually. Now, anyways, moving on to wide receiver. Marvin Harrison, the final card right here, Ultimate Legend, 99 wide receiver, six foot, six feet tall, 97 speed, 90 jumping, 98 catching, 90 catching traffic, 94 spec catch. Ooh. Ooh, 97 short route running, 97 medium route running, and 97 deep route running. So he's a phenomenal route runner. Powered up and chemed up, we'll have 99 catching, we'll have 99 speed, we'll have 99 route running, but 90 catching traffic. Guys, this card literally looks like Tory Holt from like two months ago. That's what Marvin Harrison always has been a Tory Holt kind of card. So let's see speed. Tory Holt's gonna be the same. Both gonna be 99. Jumping Tory Holt's better. Catching gonna be the same once they're chemmed up. Catching traffic, they both suck. Spec catch, they're both not pretty identical. And then route running, they're both gonna be 99s. Guys, Tory Holt and Marvin Harrison are identical. Do not be dumb and go ahead and buy a Marvin Harrison card. I promise you, if you want Marvin Harrison, just use your free Tory Holt. That will be a waste of money to buy this Marvin Harrison. Look, Tory Holt's identical. Same height, same speed, slightly better jumping action on Holt. Same catching, same catch and traffic, same spec catch, same route running. One better medium, one better deep on the other side. It's literally the same thing. Now let's see if maybe behind the car change it up. Agility, same thing. Um, let's see, let's see. Carrying, same thing. Run blocking. Actually, Toriel's a way better run blocker. Elusiveness, 93, just about the same. Ball carry vision, just about the same. Stiff arm, they both suck. Oh, Toriel's a little bit better. Spin move. Okay, so Toriel's a much better spinner and then marvin's almost the same if not a little bit better at juking but guys these cards really aren't that different but guys it's better for the video covers all the nest of my rankings real quick coming in number three marvin harrison coming in at number two ray guy because he's a punter and then coming in number one larry allen will lead the trenches for you guys but that's about it for the video 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that red bubble. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you need coins, pick winnings players. Hit up my sponsor. Use code Poodle. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.